Hi guys! Every dedicated home brewer needs a dedicated G's fridge. Let's check out my G's fridge and my G's stash, but before that, let's grab a homebrew. This is my 17 black IPA. It's still a very nice brew. But now we have that sorted out, let's check out my fridge and the gist bank. So we're sitting about 4 Celsius in here. Here's my uh, sourdough yeast for making bread. I haven't made a beer from this yet, but uh, it will come. And here's my 001 WLP 001 um, California Ale yeast. And here's Dunstar Munich. Uh, this wheat yeast. And here we have the WLP002, English ale yeast. And under that we have a WLP800 uh, Pilsen yeast. And here we have uh, my own strain. Let's have a look at that. Uh, this is my ginger bug strain. I fermented two beers with this strain and it has worked out great both times. So there's the gist, which I would use next time to make a starter when I want to use this gist. And here we have uh, WLP 013, uh, it's an English ale yeast, um, can't remember the name of it right now, English ale yeast, or is it London ale yeast, I have to put the name here. Uh, I use this for my Napa, by the way. And uh, here's a slurry, drags from my... Uh, Last Saison. This is Bella Saison. That's the whole yeast cake there. I have one up here as well. Yeah, this is the Abbey. Abbey yeast. This is the one I used for my um, Belgian Blonde. I also have some dry yeast in here. Even some liquid. This is the Hefeweizen ale yeast. It's always good to have a dry yeast if you didn't plan ahead and uh, didn't have time to make a starter. I'm planning also to do a starter video to show you how I do that. Because uh, the more I watch, the more I see that I don't do it the same way as everyone else. So there will be a video about that coming up shortly. So. There's the fridge and the gist bank uh, and I will complement this along the way as I brew. So cheers guys, Doktans out!